Hello, my friends. Dragon, you need to stop. Do not burn my werewolf. Oh, no. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Part 1 The young woman was going on the road. Around was forest and dark evening. Maybe Sky, with his own terrifying black clouds was saying to the young woman, Get back Helen, get back to the castle. I'm begging you because there are death, only death and nothing more for you. But Helen did not listen to him. She had her own dream, her own desire, which was very strong. She knew, that everyone would say, you are stupid Helen, young stupid woman, but she had some feelings and that feelings wanted something. People were saying the same and same every day. Even the sky and the black clouds were on the side of these people. Everyone loves Lady Helen, but she was alone and no one can help her to go to the forest. Suddenly she heard the lightning sound. There was a chance the forest drove the young woman crazy, because Helen heard, get back to the castle. No, no way. This was just a lightning strike and nothing more. Only a simple thing and nothing more. Yes, but when everyone and everything is your enemy the simple things were becoming your enemy. No, stop this said Helen to everyone and everything. I need to do this. She continued going forward with silent steps. The wind was moving her long dress. Helen heard some strange sounds. The sounds were coming from the forest. Helen had known, that in reality in the forest everything is very simple. There were strong animals and weak animals. Strong animals are eating weak animals. Everyone tries to survive. Some of them eat meat. Others were eating grass. They have all these sounds. The animal sounds cannot stop me, said Helen, but one thing scared him. She knew everything and of course, Helen knew this thing, but the woman forgets about it. And Thought saw Helen. Maybe Thought smiled and said, Hello Lady Helen, I'm still here. Yes, it was so close. My dear Helen in the forest were lives many animals, but there is something more, something much scary and interesting. There are many monsters my lady and they can tear you apart. And now my stupid young lady you need to get back in the castle. Of course, thought was saying the right thing. People were right. Sky and clouds also were right. The lightning strike wanted to help her. Everyone wanted that Helen was on safety. They were right and Helen was guilty. She really thought that everyone wanted to help her? But this road, forest and this place, where Helen was going. They were so scary, but they did not tell this. All of them had some horrifying beauty. Yes, we are scary and beautiful. They only said one sentence and Helen like a slave was going forward. Her silent steps became friends of the dark evening. If someone asked Helen who your king is, she would answer, King Sebastian. Right now Helen's king was nature and nothing more. Finally, she reached the hillside. Front of her was a valiant black forest. The wind was moving some nicely. Helen came here because of the beautiful hillside, valley, black forest and amazing wind, which was moving Helen's long beautiful hair. She sat down and felt happy. Only happiness was the reason why she came here. Helen felt so well, that she thought, maybe I will sleep here. No, this was too much. Stop thinking and watch, only watch this amazing place said Helen to herself. And then everything went away. Again only the slope, the valley, the black forest and the wind. Many wise men were saying, the happiness ends very quickly and they were right. Someone went out of the black forest. Helen saw the black figure. She felt so scary. It happened. Yes it happened. Helen thought. 
that she can come here and nothing bad will happen? She was so stupid. Only running could help her. Helen quickly got to her feet. Black figure was coming to her. Of course, it was a monster, who wanted to eat the human. The figure was in the valley. Thank God that it was evening now, not night because at night Helen would have not seen a black figure until the monster would have come very close. Lady Helen. A black figure screamed. Helen's scary face changed to an interesting face. Black figure was coming quickly. The woman saw that stranger was human. The voice of the stranger was so familiar. Oh, no. Helen knew who was going to her. Maybe it would be better if the monster came here, said Helen. What you said, my lady, asked young man, when he went up into the hillside. Nothing Sir James, answered Helen. Maybe you need something, Lady Helen, asked James. Do you want flowers or something like that, my lady? I need to know, what are you doing here? The young woman became angry. I had followed you, my lady. James smiled. I knew, that you wanted to go outside of the castle. It is very dangerous for you. Because of this, I followed you. What? You followed me? Helen was very angry. Yes, my lady. James had a very stupid face when he was smiling. But you are in front of me. If you had followed me, you need to be behind me, Sir James. I was following you. When you came here and stopped, I entered the forest and come to that place. Sir James pointed with his finger the trees near the valley. You are so strange and so stupid, said Helen. Suddenly they heard the roar. Near the valley, from the forest, a big black figure went out. The werewolf looked the humans and ran to their direction. Helen knew that this time creature was really monster. Helen and James ran. Helen knew how fast a monster could be. Luckily Sir James was with her, who could protect Helen. She saw how Sir James run forward and left her back. Helen fell in the ground and screamed at Sir James. Stop and help me. But Sir James was running very fast. Helen heard the scary roar and she looked away. The big monster looked very scary. The wolf was running so fast. It had black fur and big claws. Helen knew that it was a werewolf, one of the most powerful monsters. She thought this was the end the end of her life. Suddenly Arrow hit the chest of the werewolf. The monster screamed and has fallen in the ground. Helen got up and looked back. Prince Richard with his warriors was coming to her direction. Lady Helen, are you okay? asked Prince Richard. Yes, Prince Richard, I'm okay. You saved me. Helen smiled. Prince Richard, be careful, said Lord William. This monster is werewolf. Only silver and fire can kill it. Angry werewolf got up. Werewolf jumped and now this monster was very close to Lord William. The werewolf hit Lord William with his hand. The Lord fell in the ground. Lord William, no. Prince Richard struck the werewolf with the sword. The monster screamed because of pain and punched the brave prince. Richard fell in the ground, but Lord William got up and he punched the werewolf. The blow was so strong that he threw a werewolf four meters away. When werewolf got up warriors fired arrows. The simple arrows could not kill this creature, but arrows can really hurt. Because of this, the werewolf has run away. Part 2 Sir James, why didn't you help Lady Helen? asked Prince Richard. I followed her, answered Sir James. She was alone and I needed to protect her. Yes, 
But when you saw the werewolf you ran away like a coward. Because he is a coward. Said. Angry Helen. Sir James. What you can answer? Asked Prince Richard. I wanted to help. Answered shamed James. Yes, Sir James. Prince was really angry. You always want to help someone, but you are a coward. The werewolf could kill me and Sir James was thinking only his life. Said Helen. Lady Helen, I followed you because I wanted to protect you. Why you followed her? Asked Richard. You could not protect him. You needed to say, Prince Richard, I know that Lady Helen wants to go outside of the castle. But Prince Richard the first Emma Knight. Oh, no. Said, Richard. No, Sir James. You are not really a knight. My father gave you everything because he loves you. Sir James, you need to understand that you're not the warrior. Embarrassed Sir James went away. Lady Helen entered her room. Helen wanted to rest, but she was thinking about James. So many years King Sebastian, Prince Richard, and all people were fighting with terrible dragon. Everyone was brave, only this clown knight, Sir James was coward. He was always behind someone because James was weak. Helen remembered when she was a little girl the dragon burnt her parents and her house. King Sebastian took little Helen and he reared her. Helen lost everything but the good king gave him everything. She was the daughter of the Lord, God child of the king, but Helen never forgot to fight back and help the poor people. She does not like Sir James, this skinny boy, who only wanted to survive. Helen escaped from the castle because of she tired. Lady wanted to see the black forest, the hillside, and the valley. It was very risky, but Helen wanted this. And then the clown knight came here. Her hatred was so big. She had recalled this moment when the dragon burned her parents. There were so many people, but everyone was running. Everyone was so weak and coward. If they defeated their weakness and helped her parents, maybe Helen's parents would be alive. But no, their heart was weak. The next day, Helen saw that in the yard every night was draining. Only Sir James was standing alone and doing nothing. You are not training. Why? Asked Helen. I'm skinny. Answered shamed James. A knight needs to be big and strong. No James, you are wrong. There is no matter how big you are. Your heart is weak. James entered his room and he lay down on the bed. Of course, Lady Helen was right. He was a coward. His life was so terrifying. When he was a child the dragon burned James's parents. James had often remembered this scene, which was so scary. You will be a knight, said his father, when he was alive. This day, one bad day has changed everything in his life. On that day fear came to his heart and it conquered every place. His father was a brave warrior and a good friend of King Sebastian. King took James in the castle and raised the boy. James always wanted to be a brave warrior, but his heart was weak. He was Lord, but James could not fight. He loved Lady Helen so strong, but the weakness was much stronger. Helen hated him because James was weak. And why? Because of one bad day. Part 3 Lady Helen, I was so worried about you. Said Prince Richard. Thank you, my prince. You're okay? Asked Richard. You saved me. Helen answered. Because of you, I'm okay. When I understand that you escaped from the castle, I became crazy. I knew that you will face some dangerous creature. So many monsters are living in the Black Forest. When I saw you and that horrifying creature, I knew that I needed to save you. 
And you saved me. Helen smiled. I lost so many friends. Richard said. I lost so many warriors in the battle with the dragon. I don't want to lose you. And I want the same. Helen said. If you love me you can become the next queen. Of course, I love you. Helen was so happy. Horrifying roar stopped this romantic scene. The werewolf broke the door. The scary creature looked at Helen and Richard. This was another werewolf. His fur was brown. Helen when I say run, you will run very quickly. Said Richard and he attacked the werewolf. A creature hit the prince and run away. Guards, guards. Prince was screaming. Richard how the werewolf came here? Helen asked. How he went into the castle? This is impossible. Nothing is impossible my lady. Answered Richard. The next day, Richard with Lady Helen and his warriors were going to another castle. Where are we going, Richard? Helen asked. Our castle is not a safe place. Prince answered. Like you said? The werewolf could not enter the castle. The guards would saw it. This was somebody from us. What are you talking about? Asked Helen. The werewolf is living among us. But most terrifying thing is that not only the werewolf lives among us. I recently found out that the dragon lives in the castle. This is impossible. Helen was surprised. He has the human form and dragon form. Said, Richard. The dragon is attacking our cities and disappears so quickly. No one knows where the dragon lives. They heard the dragon roar. Big dragon was flying in their direction. The dragon with his fire burned everyone. Only Lady Helen and Prince Richard survived. The dragon was standing in front of them and this big creature wanted to burn everyone. Lord William, please stop this madness. Richard screamed and dropped the sword. I know, you want to kill me, but Lady Helen is innocent. They saw how the dragon has transformed into a human. Right now front of them was standing Lord William. He was a good servant of King Sebastian and a very close friend of Prince Richard. Yes, on the first look everything was like that, but Richard knew how much hatred could be hidden in the past. When you found out who is the dragon? Asked Lord William. When you punched the werewolf? Answered Richard. Your hit was very strong. You threw the werewolf far away. Human does not have such a strong punch. Yes, my boy. Lord William answered. Also, you know, how your father killed my father. William, your father was a traitor. I know, but he was my father. I was thinking about how to kill King Sebastian and you. Many years ago I transformed myself into the dragon and begin to destroy this country. You love Lady Helen and because of this now she will die. Then I will burn you, King Sebastian, and everyone. Lord William transformed into the dragon. Suddenly the brown werewolf jumped on the dragon's rear and he had begun to hit in the wings with his claws. The brown werewolf was fighting ten minutes. After that, the dragon threw him into the ground and attacked the brown werewolf with fire. The warriors from the castle came and they shot arrows into the dragon. Lord William's wings were damaged. He could not fly to avoid arrow shots. Because of this, the warriors killed him. Finally, we kill the dragon. Prince was very happy. Richard quickly come here. Helen screamed. Richard came to her and saw burn Sir James. In that place, the dragon burned the brown werewolf. Richard very quickly understood what has happened. Sir James, you'll be okay. Said Prince. I will die and very quickly, James said. 
But how you became the werewolf? Asked Helen. Lady Helen all my life I was a coward. Said Sir James. You was right my lady. My heart was very weak. I needed to do something. I needed to have a monster inside me. I went into the forest and searched for the werewolf. I let the monster bite me and after this I kill him. Everything was so hard. The black forest was so scary, the bite very painfully and killing the monster was so hard, but I did everything. After that, I came to the castle and transformed into the werewolf. Because of this I almost killed innocent people. Yes, I made so many mistakes, so many falls, but finally, in that place, I had saved you, my lady. You are so strange and so stupid. Helen was crying, but Sir James did not hear the words. He was already dead.